Let's recover your hacked Facebook account on your PC, desktop or laptop. When someone hacks your Facebook account, immediately he will change your all login details and password. In this video, we are going to show you how to recover it just using only your Facebook name without any other recovery method. As well as while recovering your account, if you get this kind of errors, we don't recognize your device, this page is not available, we can fix those errors too. I will put all related links in my video description. As well as I invite you to watch the pull tutorial. First get the pull idea then you can recover your account easily. Or if you are a mobile user you can do the same thing using your mobile device. If you want to watch that video I will put the video link in the comment section as well as in the description. So watch all the tutorials after that get the pull idea then you can recover your account from the very first time. You should not go through the recovery process multiple times. If you go through this recovery process multiple times, Facebook thinks this is an, another spammer or hacker, as well as they don't allow to recover your account. Even if you recover your account, they will be disabled it. If you want to recover your account without disabling it, watch this video to the very end. After that, you can follow every step of mine. So, without any further ado, let's jump into the video. To start, open your default web browser. Then type and search, accessing and downloading your Facebook information. Then select the first result. Now click Account Access Troubleshooting. Then select My account has been hacked. After click, secure it by going to the Help Center. Then you will get this. Now select the first one. I think my Facebook account was hacked or someone is using without my permission. After click, get started. Here you have to answer this question. For the first one, select someone else gain access to my account. For the second one, no I can't log in. For the third one, select no, I don't have access to my phone number or email address on the account. Then you will get this link. Like you see in the video, after selecting these answers, you will get this link. Now open that link. Here it asks you to enter your email address or phone number. But you don't need to enter your email or phone number. Just enter your name as you remember. Like you see in the video, there is no any email. After entering your name, Click search. Then Facebook will suggest number of account. Most probably the first one is yours. But unfortunately your account is not here. Scroll down and click I'm not in this list. Then Facebook will ask you from enter one of your friend's name, city name or your birth month. Here it asks to enter one of my friend's name. So, Enter any friend's name that on your profile. After that, tap the search button. Then Facebook will show the exact account which is belongs to you. Here within this box, you have different recovery options. Either get code via email, phone number or enter any password. Since we don't have any of these recovery methods, we need that option no longer have access to these. In some case, if you couldn't find this option when you are using your mobile device but if you use the web version or PC or laptop definitely you have that option. So if you don't have access to any of these recovery methods you have to tap no longer have access to these. But in some case if you are a PC user if you can't find this option as well as after tapping no longer have access to these you should get this window. This allowed you to add new email and password. Instead of this window, if you got this error window, we don't recognize your device. Now you can't go forward. But don't worry, we can fix this issue. If you want to fix no longer have access to this option is not available as well as we don't recognize this device error. As well as when you are adding new email, sometimes it will say this page is not available. The link is expired. If you got these kind of errors, I highly recommend you to check error fixing video. Simply you can fix these errors. So go to my video description, I will put 
all the related video links. In my case, I don't have access to my email, phone number or any password. So I need to my recovery account. Now I will tap no longer have access to this button in blue color. Then they will provide this window which allows you to recover your account. First, you have to add new login email or phone number. After that, you have to verify yourself. To verify yourself, you will have to upload video selfie, enter one of your last password or enter a copy of your ID like that. Finally, you have to wait until they respond to you. Most probably, they will respond to you within 48 hours. After that, they will provide all instructions to recover your account. So, to go forward, tap start button. In this window, they allow you to add new login email address. This should be a new one as well as they will send a login code to this email address. After that, they have mentioned they will remove all other phone numbers email address which is associated on your account. Then this will be your primary email address. So it is better if you can enter or create a brand new email address. Then enter it here. Then Facebook will send a verification code to your new email address. Like this, you can enter your new email address. After entering, you have to tap get code button in blue color. Like this, tap get code, then you will be redirected to this window. Here you have to enter that one time login code. Go to your email address. Here I added a Gmail account. Like this, I will go to my Gmail account. At the top, you can see there is a new email from Facebook. If you open that email, you can see that one time login code like this. This is my login code. Somehow, if you didn't get this code, you can resend that. You can resend it multiple time until you get it. To copy paste, select all, click right mouse button. Then copy in the pop-up window. After that, you have to face it here. After pasting, you have to tap confirm. Then this will be your primary email address and also they will send all the instruction to this email address. After that, you will be redirected to this window. This window allows you to verify yourself. Here I have two verification methods, either enter old password or upload a copy of my ID. Here as the first option, I can enter any password that I created within last year as well as there is another option upload a copy of id i can upload government id passport id driving license like that there are a bunch of id types that i can upload i will explain it later as well as in my case it has only two options in your case you might have more than that sometime upload a video selfie then get a login code like that there are different to account to account since I have two options, first I will select enter an all password. After that, you will be redirected to this kind of window. Like I said earlier, here you have to enter any password that you have created within last year. But don't worry, if you don't remember any of last password, I will show you the second method. The reason I'm showing this method, if you use this method, you don't want to upload a copy of your ID. After that, Sometimes they ask to review it, it will take some time. Without no time, immediately you can recover your account if you have one of your last password. After that, they will send a code or link or some instruction to your new primary email address. Then I will show the second method. I will leave from this side. Then I will go to my recovery process again. You will get this window. After that, you can see now I only have one option upload a copy of id so this is the most common option everyone has this option tap upload id here you have to enter your full name and also you have to upload a copy of your id it can be your passport driving license or your national id or any official document then you have to send it to upload Click upload ID button. Then you can see all type of ID that you can upload. 
you have bunch of options but I will select driving license then click next again click next then hold your ID within the frames then it will capture photo of your ID automatically then send it after submitting copy of your ID Facebook will review it within 24 hours after reviewing you will get an email from Facebook so go to your email address then if you check your recent email you can see there is an email from Facebook if you open that you can find a recovery link or change password button then open that recovery link or click change password then it asks you to create a new password after creating a strong password click continue like that you can recover your account while recovering your account if you face any error you can use the mobile version if you want to know how to recover using mobile and without any error i will put all the links in the description i invite you to watch these videos too that's it later